when John Winthrop, leader of the Puritans, when he came over, before they even got to the land, he had his Bible open and he placed his people under covenant. And the words he used to place them under covenant seem to be derived right out of the Book of Mormon. I've read his words and thought, did he somehow acquire uh, a copy of the Book of Mormon a couple hundred years before it was even made available for publication? Because he repeated Father Lehi's words. We shall find that the God of Israel is among us, when ten of us shall be able to resist a thousand of our enemies. When he shall make us a praise and glory, that men shall say of succeeding plantations, The Lord make it like that of New England. For we must consider that we shall be as a city upon a hill. The eyes of all people are upon us. He saw us as a city on the hill, sending forth our beacon to other lands of the earth to send forth in that beacon light the covenant. They invoked the covenants of, of, of ancient Israel, particularly the, the, the national covenants. And when, when Nephi saw them coming in 1 Nephi 13, some 2,000 years before they actually came, he said they will carry the Bible with them. To me, it just reiterates the very covenant of the Book of Mormon, that if we come and we serve the God of the land, who is Jesus Christ, and we keep his commandments, we'll be blessed for it, we will be prospered. So we have the Jaredites, and they come back to the original promised land. Um, then, then we have the, uh, the Nephites, you know, with Lehi and his family, and they come back to this promised land again. The, the ancient prophecies and promises being fulfilled once again by the same family, um, by the same covenants. But each time, they are blessed so much that they become prosperous, and then they begin to forget the Lord and then each time they are wiped back off of the land. The eyes of all people are upon us, so that if we shall deal falsely with our God in this work we have undertaken, and so cause him to withdraw his present help from us, we shall be made a story and a byword through the world. We shall open the mouths of enemies to speak evil of the ways of God and all professors for God's sake. We shall shame the faces of many of God's worthy servants and cause their prayers to be turned into curses upon us till we be consumed out of the good land, whether we are going. If we choose disobedience, we will be cut off from his presence. And not only will we not be blessed, we will be cursed as we depart from him. Great civilizations have been swept from this land when they failed to observe the great principles upon which the nation was established. What is the essential message of the Book of Mormon that is so vital to our time? It is a witness to our generation it prophesied the founding of this nation and how we may survive as a free country. Should we not now look back to generations with little to no delinquency, when the Bible was the essence of education, the very core of government, the underpinning of life, not just something bolted on the side? See, the commandments are happy commandments. If you keep them, you'll be happy. If you don't, you won't. And it still works that way today.